welcome to my channel I'm Caroline and in today's video I have a nice review for you guys and today I'm reviewing a couple of products from elf mainly the 16 hour camo concealer and I actually got this a couple of days ago and I forgot about it and I've been a little busy so I didn't have time to do this video but I'm sitting down today to review this and I'm gonna let you know if this concealer is all that or it's crap like that's just basically it like I don't care how much a concealer costs five dollars ten dollars twenty thirty it has to be good no matter what the price it has to be good because either way you're spending your hard-earned cash on it also I'm going to be talking about the elf matte blotting mist and the new matte oil control lotion and I'm also going to be trying out this elf poreless putty primer this has been the hype since Jeffree Star talked about it and it's been sold out. But lucky for me, when they brought out the concealer, they put this back in stock. So I finally got my hands on it. So I'll be showing you how this works in the video as well. They came out with a whole matte and dewy line. I will just pull up some pictures and I will put it here on the screen so you guys can see the different items. And I also have a bunch of other goodies that I got from the e.l.f. store and online. And I will be showing you that throughout this video when, when I do my semi full face of elf before we get in this video subscribe to my channel join the carol beauty fam let this channel flourish let this channel grow also like this video it helps my video get out there to other people to see and and follow me on my social media that's instagram snapchat and twitter everything will be here on the screen and in the description box below and without any more chattering let's begin Today we're going to be starting the face with this e.l.f. Matte Oil Control Lotion. And I have tried this already before and I must say, if you have oily skin, go and get one of these bottles and try it out. I really, really like it. So since I started using this, I stopped using my regular primer. And this is also good for like when you don't have no makeup and you're like me. Like if I don't put any makeup on, my skin throughout the day gets really oily in my nose and in my forehead. So this product, it does... It doesn't prevent the oil, but it helps it be less oily throughout the day. Like, I will get oily later on in the day instead of two or three hours after I leave the house with nothing on. So, I really like it for that. And this, I tried this with the Maybelline Mattifying Foundation. And I put the mist on. My face was matte all day long. So, I'm matte. just going to take some. Two. That's a little too much. And I'm just going to apply it everywhere. So now that I have my skin nice and moisturized, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And this is what it looks like. I tried it the other day. And I just grab a little bit in the back of my nail. And this is like, it's so much product in it, so it will last. And I'm just going to press it right here. It does look like it filled in the pores. And for foundation, I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay Foundation, and I'm just going to apply this off camera. Okay, so the foundation is done. And now for the exciting part, I'm like really excited to try this concealer. I have heard nothing but good things. The 16 hour camo concealer by e.l.f. It comes in the regular packaging. So this is what the packaging looks like, and this concealer is $5. So I'm excited to try it out, and I have the shade Medium Peach. And this is the applicator, reminds me of the Tarte one, nice and thick. So let me swatch this shade here in the back of my hand. So this is what the shade looks like. So I went for the medium peach, and this looks like it might match me. It's close in color to my Too Faced one, so I hope it actually matches my skin. I'll finish. So it's like really light, like super light, and this is medium peach, like wow. They need to get this shade range on check or these colors on check because it's like super light and it's like my skin tone i define it as medium fair and this is like fair this is almost like a vanilla color not medium peach and this is the sixth shade from the concealer so for it to be this light i'm like really surprised hopefully it's good because if it's good i'll pick up some more colors because why not five bucks So 
so I'm gonna wait a little bit to see if it oxidizes. I hope it oxidizes because it's like so, it's like a really light peachy yellow kind of color. So it doesn't really look like it's going to oxidize, so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out. And I'm just gonna start with the nose. I don't know how quick this sets and this looks like one of those really fast drying concealers. Oh, gotta hurry up here, this sets so fast. Okay, so first thoughts is that this concealer sets so fast. Like you saw me struggling to blend this out. It's like, if you get this concealer, do one eye at a time. When you put it, blend it out right away. It sets super, super quick. Like I never had a concealer that dried down this fast. So I forgot to redo the claims. So let me redo the claims. So this is a full coverage six and hour wear concealer featuring enlarged doe foot applicator to conceal correct contour highlight for a flawless skin the high pigmented formula is lightweight dries matte and won't settle into fine lines or crease ideal for all skin types they claim that it doesn't crease and it's definitely creasing on me like right away okay so those were the claims so i'm actually gonna go back in with another layer i feel like since i really had to like push it and rub it in i took some product away in the sponge so i'm just gonna go again and put a little bit more. I'm going to do one eye at a time this time. Okay, so that immediately looks much better. I'm gonna do the other eye now. Okay, so I hate the way this looks on me. I feel like it's for medium peach color this is like so light and this shade is once you blend it out it looks gray like if you look i look gray i don't understand why it's blending out to like a gray undertone like i really there's 18 colors in this shade range and for me that my skin tone i'm the lightest that i can be right now my skin tone is medium fair and for me to pick up this six deepest shade from the lights and it's still like way too light on me is a problem because that means not a lot of people can use this concealer there's not really that much inclusivity which is a shame because i was really happy and excited to hear about this concealer and especially for five dollars like i was really hoping i would love this concealer like it's five bucks come on like you can't beat that price and it's just maybe maybe i'll pick up another shade and try it but as of right now I'm not really seeing that much coverage like I still see very my lines right here very deep I still see some redness peeking out and I did two layers of this concealer and in the details about this product they say it is creaseless and I'm creasing pretty badly right now let's keep going on with the flow let's see how everything looks after the full face is done I'm just gonna blend out those creases and set it with my pretty vulgar loose setting powder so next item I got from e.l.f. is this Wow Brow Black Volumizing Fiber Gel. And it's supposed to make your eyebrows look nice and fuller. This is for people that have more of a fuller brow like me. So right now my eyebrows are lightly filled in. I've used the Benefit Precisely My Brow for that. And I'm just going to fill it in fill it in with this and see what happens. I'm just going to start from the middle to the end. And whatever left over I bring to the front. Because you don't want your eyebrows to look super dark at the front. I don't know. Do you see a difference? Because I don't really see a difference. This stuff is supposed to have like fiber, hair fibers in it to make your eyebrows look fuller. Well, it did kind of really set them down. It feels like I put a little bit of hairspray in my eyebrows. That's the only thing I could say. But let's see. I'll let you guys know in the description box if it, they actually stayed in place. And the next item I'm going to try out is this e.l.f. Jelly Highlighter. And this is $6. And this is in the shade Bubbly. They have three shades. They have Bubbly and let me check here. Dew and Cloud. This is like a champagne gold. Dew is more like a rose gold. Then Cloud is just a gold gold. I never tried an item that's like a jelly consistency. So I'm excited to try this out. And this is what it looks like. And it looks, it looks like slime. Oh, jiggly. 
you'll see it super jiggly and let's let me get some out Ooh, it's like it feels like a really wet slime and i'm gonna swatch it here for you guys so this is the shade this is like a very champagne color and it's oof it looks super reflective so i'm just gonna put some here in my hand and just apply with my finger my other finger I'm just gonna blend this out so my mistake was putting it on and not blending it out right away I'm gonna put a little bit more on so I can try to blend it out as much as I can I'm really trying to blend this out here <laughs> It's setting too fast. What's going on with Elf? Everything that Elf sets so fast. I'm just not used to that. Like it's, it's really pretty, but it's just the formula is just it's not movable. It's like wherever you put it, that's exactly where it's going to set. And it's like you need some room. You need some time to try to blend it out. Like this is crazy. This product is just hard to blend out. That's just the plain truth. Of this product is a bead to blend out. Like, I'm struggling here. This line, like, I don't like a highlighter to look harsh like that. I like everything that looks like it's that's coming out of the skin. That doesn't have harsh line. Everything blends nicely. And this is like, both sides are like, harsh. Like, this side is more blended out. But as you can see that line, I just, I can't. So next I have the eye. And I'm going to be using this star glitter in the shade Milky Way. It's a loose glitter. <laughs> That's what it is. And I also, I got this as a free gift when you purchase um, an order from $25 or more. So I got this um, smooth matte eyeshadow. And it's a liquid eyeshadow. And I'm just, I want to try it because why not? And with that, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. So this is in the shade Nude Linen. So this is what it looks like. It's just like a lipstick wand. So I'm just gonna apply this here and use it as a transition shade. Let me work fast because e.l.f. products tend to set really fast. Okay, so that um, liquid eyeshadow is trash, so not even going to bother with that. I'm going to zoom you in so you can see what happened. Look at my eyelid. What is this? It like took the concealer away. Like, And for the eyeshadows, I'm going to do it off camera. And I'll let you know how the loose glitter worked on my eyes. Okay, so I finished the rest of my face. So I added some lipstick. And this is my favorite gloss from ColourPop. This is in Flying Horses. Ultra glossy lip. I recommend it. I love it. Look how glossy. Super glossy. And I put on this cream liner from Rebel. This is my favorite cream eyeliner. And this I think is only three or four bucks. And and I applied the ColourPop BFF mascara in the shade black on black. One of my favorites too. Okay, so for the last step of my makeup, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Matte Blotting Mist. And I know this is a blotting mist, but honestly, I'm just going to use this to set my face. I'm not going to take this whole big-ass bottle with me to blot, like honestly. I'm not. I'm just going to pat with some tissue. And I just wanted to show you. So I, have, I had it sit in there for about two to three days, and the product separates. So definitely give it a good shake. I tried this spray before, and I really like it, so I'm just going to spritz again. It feels nice, so nice and refreshing on the skin. So this is what the final look came out to be. And honestly, I really hate how my base makeup looks. I feel like if your base ain't right, your makeup is not going to look right. No matter how much you try to finesse it. I feel like this whole area right here is like so light and gray. Like I hate how it looks. I like the eyeshadow. I don't know. I could have blended it out a little bit better. But I actually really like how the colors look together. I think the glitter is beautiful. It's, it just it tends to clump where you put it. So it takes a little bit of work to blend it to the area. So if you put on a glitter primer and you put on the glitter, after you do that, there's no blendability. It's not going to move. It's like that jelly highlighter. It does not move. 
Um, the concealer you already know that I did not like at all. Even though this is like a first impression, first time, maybe I should get another color. But I'm honestly, I'm not going to waste my money because I really just don't like it. First of all, this is the sixth shade and this is medium peach. This is going lower in the colors that I usually wear. I usually wear light medium or even sometimes light. I can make it work, but this just... The undertone of this is so like white and gray. It just looks absolutely horrible. And it's creasing more than my usual concealer. And another thing, it's not full coverage. I can still, I can still see some of my redness peek through here. And these lines I have there, these deep set lines, it kind of cover it a bit, but not as much as I would like. This is more, I would say more light medium coverage, definitely buildable. Every time I'm so excited to try a product, it never works for me. And it's just, it is what it is. Um, the poreless putty primer, I love it. If you can see, you can't see not one of my pores. Not one. So this is A+. Plus. And the brow product is okay. I will definitely have to try it without filling on my eyebrows to see if it actually covers, if it actually fills in. I already spoke about the glitter. The color is beautiful. It just takes some finessing. The jelly highlighter, the color is beautiful, but this is like, I will never put this on my face again. Like, this is like the most difficult thing to blend out. Like, once you put it on, this ain't moving. This ain't moving. So this is a no-go for me. This um cream eyeshadow is trash. This is literally going to my garbage can. It literally took the concealer out of the spot where I try to blend it. This is garbage. Okay, so the um the last two products I have to review is the lotion and the spray. So the lotion I couldn't I spoke so much about this lotion at the beginning of this video. I know you guys are tired of it. And I recommend it. Don't waste, I don't think you should waste the money on the mattifying primer. Just get this lotion. It's a bigger bottle anyways and it's the same price. The mattifying blotting spray. I haven't tried it as a blotting spray. But after you're done with your makeup, you spray this on and you will stay matte for a long time during the day. Like I use this and this in combination with my foundation. And my makeup looked matte for eight hours straight like i was shocked that never happens usually this is already oil slick i have to be like you know tapping it tapping right here so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video and i'll see you in my next one